Good morning, y'all. Happy Wednesday morning. So, here it is, the last day of March. Can you believe we are a quarter of the way through the year already? Okay. But, more importantly, what uh, this is, we are now going into the week of Easter, and now going into April. Of course, now a lot of us are starting to look at planting, okay? And no, I'm not going to show you tomatoes or peppers or any of that sort of stuff today, okay? I want to talk about something different that's really geared toward prepping and not just planting vegetables, okay? The issue comes up, and I, and I bet you're all very similar to me, okay? You're going to put your tomatoes, your peppers, your eggplant, your cabbage, whatever you're growing, and you're going to fertilize it somehow. You're going to get whatever bug spray that you use to keep your aphids off or to keep your tomato hornworms off, however it's going to be. So here's my question. What are you going to do when the stores don't exist anymore? Okay. Now, you all know that I had the issue getting my potatoes. Okay, Ordered them online in November and they sent the wrong box and my potatoes went to some guy in New York and I got his potatoes here in Tennessee and of course Burpee comes back and says, well gee, sorry, we're out, we can't get you anymore. Okay, well, that's that was a problem. Now fortunately I was able to find other potatoes. But imagine something like this. There's a seed shortage. Hmm. We all know that's possible. We went through that last year. We're going through that this year. But so now figure this. Let's say there is a fertilizer shortage or a bug spray shortage or what are you, or whatever it would be, whatever you need for your garden. Okay. Do you know or do you have the resources to figure out how to fertilize, how to uh, keep the bugs off your gardens, whatever it would be, so that you actually can eat the food you grow. So, y'all know me, I'm not sponsored by anybody, I just kind of like to show you things that I like. Anybody ever seen this book? Okay, this is actually the second one I've ever had. The first one I beat to death and wore out so bad and got wet so many times, it was done. Okay. Jerry Baker, Terrific Garden Tonics. Okay, Jerry Baker's past. Okay, I think he probably wrote this book 40 years ago or somewhere thereabouts. Uh, but it is all sorts of different, as he calls them, tonics that you can make out of typical household stuff that his grandmother used to use back in the Depression to grow their vegetables, okay, for food for them, okay, and obviously not having, you know, if you had money back in the Depression, you weren't going buying fertilizer, you know, I mean, if you were using cow manure or whatever, that was pretty much what you got. But, you know, so stuff like that wasn't going to get rid of your aphids or your your rabbit problem or whatever it was. I picked up this book the first time back in the early 90s when I lived in Indiana. And I've used, oh, I'd say probably 20 or 30 things out of this book for fertilizer. And believe it or not, stuff works, okay? It's not as good as chemical fertilizers, but you don't expect it to be. But it's better than hope and pray. So I kind of wanted to give you just a few ideas of this. Now, mind you, I bought this book online, got it from a used bookstore somewhere. I think I paid $1.99 for it. So I can pretty much say that's going to be in anybody's budget. Okay, probably find it. Don't buy it new. You can find it in plenty of used bookstores online. So, and there's 345 do-it-yourself fix-em formulas, if you will. But let me give you one, okay? These are they're, I, just a couple of them. One he calls his aphid away spray, which I've used, okay? Here's the ingredients for this one. A small onion, a clove of garlic, a teaspoon or a tablespoon of baby shampoo, and some warm water. It'll get rid of your aphids, okay? Bet you got all that in your pepper pantry, okay? Or in your garden. Uh, how about this one? If you've got... Problems with squirrels, rabbits, deer eating your vegetables. We all run across this one, okay? A lot of us have talked about it many times on things like, uh, I've mentioned to you before, planting marigolds around, planting garlic around in your garden because the smell, 
okay? There's a recipe right here. He calls it his hot bite brew. These are the ingredients. A three tablespoons of cayenne pepper, one tablespoon of hot sauce, one tablespoon of ammonia, one tablespoon of baby shampoo, and two cups of hot water. Mix all this together, put it in a hose sprayer, and spray your vegetables with it. Guess what? I don't think the deer are going to want cayenne pepper much. All right? So, you know, there's that one. Go to a different one. Here's his squirrel beater tonic. Okay? And this is for... Uh, your fruit trees, two tablespoons of cayenne pepper, a tablespoon, two tablespoons of hot sauce, two tablespoons of chili powder, a tablespoon of Murphy's oil soap, and a quart of warm water. Again, simple stuff. I'll give you one more, okay? And this is toward vegetables, okay? I've talked about many times about how to get rid of blossom end rot, crushed egg cell, eggshells in the bottom because blossom end rot's caused from a lack of calcium. Anybody ever run into blight on your tomato, okay? Here's a tonic to ward off a lot of diseases in your tomatoes, okay? Here's your ingredients. Three cups of compost, a half a cup of powdered nonfat milk, half a cup of Epsom salts, and a tablespoon of baking soda. I would pretty much bet that you already have 95% of all those ingredients that I talked about, and maybe the one you don't, this is going out on a limb here, would be the baby shampoo, unless you have babies in the house, okay? But, you know, you can go get the dollar store brand of baby, shoe, baby shampoo for a buck, all right? This is what I'm saying. All the stuff that I just told you to get rid of deer, raccoons, aphids, disease, whatever it is, you've probably got all the stuff in your house, yet I guarantee you're going to go out this year and buy a $40 bag of fertilizer or a $20, $20 worth of bug spray or whatever that you're going to use. And it is chemicals that if you're trying to grow organic, okay, which a lot of people do, well, you're not going to spray the chemicals, so you need something. So here's your here's your option, guys. You know, go buy some baby powder, or baby, baby powder, baby shampoo, uh, cayenne pepper. I mean, pretty much everything there is at the dollar store. Like I said, I got the book for two bucks. I think it was I think it was a dollar ninety nine. I bought it when we moved in here. Uh, but this is the point. I mean, these are things that you can do. A that are cheap, which, you know, how I love that, okay? But B is a great prepper resource because when you can't get the stuff that you are used to using and you still want to grow food, you know, there's recipes for fertilizers in here, for fruit trees, for vegetables, for whatever. I mean, there's 345 stuff in here to make your grass grow greener, to get rid of weeds, whatever it would be, all sorts of stuff. Like I said, I'm not sponsoring it or anything like that. I mean, I got it at a used bookstore. But the book's got good info, and I like to share good info with you. So go find it if you want. Again, it's called Terrific Garden Top uh, Tonics, and Jerry, Jerry Baker is the author. Just something. Here's a, here's a real good prepper thing for you guys to pick up for next to nothing that I thought I'd share with all of you, especially this time of year when we're all itching to get out in the dirt. So, and speaking of that, I did go out and weed my gardens this afternoon. So, or at least some of the gardens. Have a good one, guys. Happy Wednesday. Have a, have a nice one. Pinball out.